Hi friends, I am speaking your friend Prabhagaran. Now in this in in before video, I am telling about the how to register the data in ASB.NET by using the ASB.NET. Okay, now I am telling about the login options, the login form. Okay, how to login? Okay, by using the cookies. Okay, in this video, I am telling about uh, how to login uh, that uh, project and then how to set that cookie. Okay, to login. Form. Now I am telling about that concept. See here. <coughs> <coughs> now I am declaring this place. This is my e-manage project. Okay. This is my e-manage project. I am declared the e-manage project here. See, this is my e-manage project. See, this is my e-manage project. Okay. In this e-manage project, I am declaring that concept of login options. Okay, okay. Now I am show to you here. See, I am already declare that proba um, proba Gmail and then declare password proba and then also I am go to declare the master and then I am login. So after login. That uh, master page view opened. Okay, see this is the master page. No, so this is the master page. Okay, so mm, so many forms also I'm declare and then I'm given logout means that uh, form logout at uh, and then after login form open. Okay, this form closed and then login form open. Okay, so always to function. Okay, always to do this function by using the cookies. Okay. Okay, this is the login option, and then how to use the cookie. Okay, now I'm going to show to you in this place on uh, this Visual Studio. See, this is the login ASPX. Okay, I'm already told to you the error validations, and then uh, how to design that form in before video. Okay, the error validation function, and then list the drop down list of list item, and the so many concept I'm told to you in before video. Okay, now. And declare that uh, form. Sorry, that uh, email ID. The email ID required field validator. Also, I'm so telling before video. See email ID and then error validation to this email ID. Okay. So the purpose that error validation also I'm told to you. And then uh, please check that email password, such as the message. So many concept I'm told to you in before video. Okay. Uh, and then also the accepts permissions the JavaScript also validation documents so also I'm um, control validate okay this one also I'm told in before video and then also same as the login button and then forget password okay the forget password label the login button login button and then that uh, number only accept our functions validations so many concepts I'm told to in before video now this is the design for to this okay so this is the design code okay uh, now i am defaultly said that <coughs> the four item okay say admin student master and then select type okay that one i am show to you in this place like this okay see the select item and the admin student master okay this problem is like this okay i am told to you this concept in before video okay the how to design this okay i am using the design by using the table table tag okay this is html of table table tag okay now i am go to that um, that css okay in this login form of css how to create login okay i am declaring that sql client and then email id password and then type equal correct means all the data is correct means then after only the login option come to okay like this okay so then after only uh, open okay now i'll show to you see the email id and then password and then type okay it's three data correct means then after only the data is login otherwise not login okay so i'm declare that password probably and then declare here password any one password and um, incorrect password I am said that admin also incorrect. Okay, now I am go to login. What happened? See, listen in this place that error validation required 
okay so i'm set the error validation please check email id in password and type okay like that message i'm set in this place and it automatically closed also so it's uh, also i'm told to in before video okay how to hide at this one okay so now i'm go to uh, telling about how to set that cookie okay so i'm go to show to you to this register okay this database also i am declare in before uh, this database also i am show to you in this place see this is the register of email id password and type okay this data also uh, fill in this place okay the register of the email id password and type okay this each uh, am fill the proba proba password and then master okay i am declare that and then i am go to declare it here okay so how to set that cookie for to this okay so now i am go to show to in this place see count select all uh, register where uh, from with respect to the email id and password and then type is corrected means the data table get and then fill in the data table it's equal to equal to 1 okay it's correct equal to 1 means okay that time only that cookie created okay this is the cookie code okay that time only cookie created otherwise not created so this is the cookie code see this cookie code i am declaring here see in this place i am declaring um, that cookie one i am declare and then also declare one One, one, and then also here one, and then also here one. Cookie one, okay. Control S. Now I am declare the cookie one, okay. So I am declare here had days, five days, okay. See, I am get the cookie variable in this place. I am declaring variable uh, the cookie name login. Now email ID and type, okay. The row of email ID and then type of cell see this in this row of uh, type and then email id okay that one i am show to here the cookie email id dt row data table so see this data table dt okay dt dot rows zero rows email id dot to string and type dot to string like that okay and then that cookie expire time okay the date time dot now whenever login that time okay the date time dot now means whenever login that time you are mentioned in this place the date time dot now add days five days i am declare okay so that purpose i am not i am declaring here just i am remove it i am declaring dot add minutes okay add minutes I am declaring here five minutes. Sorry, I am declaring in seconds. Okay, so I am go to dot add seconds. Okay, I am declaring seconds. Control S. Okay, and then it's correct that master means the master view form open. Okay, if the type is equal master means. This type equal master means the master view open. Type equal admin means the admin control form view. Okay, the register means register form view. Okay, so the master view should be view uh, the whenever type you are using the master. The time only the master view open. Okay, so I am using the master means the master view only open. Okay, the page only open. Okay, okay. Now I am set that had second the cookie. Five second, okay. Five. Now I'm go to run it. Here refresh. Okay. Now refresh. Now I'm declare here. Prava at gmail dot com. And then declare Prava. And then also I'm declare Monster. Okay, Monster. I'm set that master. I'm set that master. Now I'm go to log in here. See, I'm log in here. Uh, 
in this place i am setting 5 second add second 5 okay so i am go to here after login this automatically uh, closed okay okay now open this uh, master form okay the master view okay this is the master view form okay so see this master view okay now i am go to refresh it automatically came to login why means i am set the 5 second okay see again show to you prabha prabha and then declare master see i am declare master so that purpose here open the master view okay i am go to login and then also i am setting add second 5 second only okay now i am go to refresh it master view open refresh it so it's over automatically came why means i am set the uh, 5 second okay so i am go to here refreshing uh, 15 second or 20 second okay 20 second control s now i am declare the 20 second go to refresh it Okay, now I am go to declare Prabha same mail ID and then Prabha and then master and then I am login. Okay, now I am login. So I am master declare and then login after your master uh, master page view open. Okay, see the master page open. Okay, now I am go to refresh it. See same view uh, same page available okay again also i'm refresh now it's changed why means after 20 second it's open okay now i'm go to again also show to you prabha gmail and then prabha password and then master and then login Now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, twenty after I'm refreshing here automatically goes to that login form. Okay. So after 20 seconds, the login form automatically came. Whenever you refresh the time, it's came. Okay. Okay. Now I'm go to Prabha and then also Prabha and then also Master and then login. Now suddenly I'm refreshed. What happened? It's automatically live here. And then also I'm refreshed automatically live here. Okay. After 20 seconds, it's change it okay see many more time i'm refreshed here okay but having here after 20 seconds it's automatically closed okay like this okay so it's cookie okay it's it is the how to create a, if you are using that day also okay i'm declare here dot add um uh, add hours also 120 hour okay 20 hour or 2 hour you are set that cookie or you are using the days also okay one day two day months anyone you can use that and i am declaring here add days dot add days i am declaring here one days or two days okay control s okay now i am set the two days okay now i am created this one and then after goes to that uh, directly the master view okay now i am go to show to in this place here declaring on uh, two days i am declare now i am login proba proba and then i am go to proba password and then master and then i am go to declare login and click login button now open it's two days available uh, there are cookies option okay 
now I am go to uh, logout means it's logouted okay how to set logout okay so it's login option and then how to set the logout means I'm go to the logout option okay see login this is the login option and go to that logout option where is the logout means this master view form see in this master view form and go to robo gmail and then robo tab and then master tab and then login see having in this place see here in this master view this master view form available the logout option so I am go to the master here master master view ok this is the master view form here available the logout ok so I am go to here mm, see this is the logout ok logout button available so I am going to show to you the logout view code view code see here logout option ok see this is minus one day minus one the day I am set the minus one D means it's automatically logouted. Uh, now when you are clicking minus that time minus minutes also minus minutes minus month minus anyone if you are declaring minus means it's automatically logout and then login form directly open. Okay, so this is the logout concept of HTTP cookies. Okay, so I have to set the cookies and logout and then login form. Okay, okay friends. I am show to you how to login that uh, uh, login and then change the password and forget password concept I am told to you in another one video ok change the password and forget password I am told to you in another one video uh, in ASB.NET ok I am told to you in uh, .NET uh, how to change the password ok in .NET uh, concept in this ASP.NET how to change the password means I am told to you in another one video and then how to uh, forget password to get in this place ok so how to uh, I am going to login logout ok this forget password ok I am designing this forget password already see whenever you are declaring your mail id that time that uh, submitted means the level login automatically get that pa pa the password forget password get on the mail id then after you can and declare this place ok so how it's to do I am telling in another one concept ok my friends I am told to you in this place how to log in by using the cookie ok and then a logout option in this asp.net by using the cookie ok friends if you have any doubt means just comment to me and then subscribe me bye friend now